Today is October 21st, the day that my eldest son was born. He is 17 today, and you know, to think back to the day he was born, I remember being afraid that I would forget about this little thing in my arms, that I was so 100% responsible for him, and um, I didn't know if I could be that responsible. I didn't know if I could love another human being as much as I needed to love him. And it was, of course, shocking the first time I held that tiny 10-pound, 6-ounce baby in my arms that I could love another human being as much as I loved him in that moment. Um, nature is fantastic in that it builds in that need to protect and and it's never gone away in the 17 years that he's been in my life. He, I always have this need to protect him and to keep him safe and to love him. Uh, 17 years. This is a hard birthday for me because even when he turned 16, he still looked young to me. He's now in his senior year at high school, trying to figure out what he wants to do with his life. And um, he looks like a man now, and talks like a young adult. Uh, he's, he's a sweet, sweet person, and um, I love him dearly. But I was, I was thinking that how much things have changed from when I was in my last year of high school, which, by the way, feels like yesterday, and is, I guess that's part of the shocking part, is that I don't feel old enough, I don't feel that enough years have passed between my high school um, graduation and now my child is graduating from high school. How did that happen? Um, time goes so fast. <laughs> He uh, he's trying to decide what he wants to do with his life. And I just got back from the 140 conference in Detroit uh, talking about uh, entrepreneurism. And I realized that my parents felt that I should go and work a government job or um, a stable <clears throat> job as in a hospital in our educational system and nothing is solid anymore nothing is guaranteed so I don't feel the urge t to pressure him one direction or the other um, all I want him to do is choose what makes him happy and to choose something that will afford him the lifestyle that he would like um, I know he he likes to golf, he likes to ski, he likes to uh, uh, do water sports, and whatever he chooses to do, I think being able to do those things will be part of keeping him happy as an adult and through his life. So he needs to find something that will afford him the opportunity to do those things. Um, so whatever he chooses to do, he has to earn enough money uh, to keep the lifestyle that he's accustomed to, um, or maybe even a better lifestyle than what he's accustomed to. I don't feel the urge to push him off to college or university like my parents did, um, as a matter of fact, if he doesn't know what he wants to do, I, I've been telling him, take a year off, figure out what you want to do, go travel. <laughs> He's opposite to me. That's what I wanted to do. I did. I took a year off. I didn't have the money to travel. I saved money, my uh, money and went back and went to school. Um, my grandfather told me when I told him I was taking a year off, he gave me a really hard time and said if I took a year off that I would never go back to school and I'd be a failure, which is not like my grandfather. He was always supportive, but he uh, did not like 
the idea that I would take time off school, which is surprising because he went back to school when he had four children um, and became an engineer. So that's a little surprising, actually, in retrospect, now that I think about it. Uh, but the point being that my son needs to figure out what he wants. And if he starts, if he goes to school next year and the school teaches him the skills um, that are important in a work ethic that's important, um, that will help him in whatever career he chooses, then I'm okay with that too. Um, but what amazes me, um, and, and I really saw this at the 140 conference too, is that he might, you know, he might start school in September f and get on a particular three or four year track. And in three or four years, when he's finished that, there may be many more jobs that he would much rather do available that aren't even, that haven't even been created yet. I look at what I'm doing as far as my business in CyberClutch, and when I went to school, there was no such business. Um, there was no uh, ability to do the type of work that I am doing now. Um, <clears throat> so I guess what I want most for him is to keep an open mind and an open heart and to find what makes him happy. And you can never go wrong. You will always be successful if you follow that advice. So Brett... Don't worry about doing what you think your parents should do. Do what you think is best for you. But really look long and look deep into what it is that you want. Be sure of it and move forward. Happy 17th birthday. I love you.